Hey, everybody, it's Casey, and uh, we're into the second hour of the show here on uh, Penn's Peak Radio and the Wall to Wall Country <laughs> Show today. And we're so excited because every once in a while we have the opportunity to have an artist come back on the show and give us some updated information of uh, what he's been up to. Just last year, we had this guy on, but since then, he's been a busy boy. He's been getting into being uh, nominated and being awarded some uh, great awards spanning a couple different gamuts here been putting out some new music and so excited to hear what else this guy's been up to please make welcome to the show chris steven hey chris how are you i'm doing great how about yourself i am doing pretty awesome so you've been a busy boy since we uh last had you on the show last year sometime it's it sounds like you've been uh pretty running crazy Right. Since uh, since I was on here last, uh, the EP's been doing great. I've been uh, lucky enough to have plenty of shows to do and places to go and all kinds of things like that. And then I've uh, been recording a little bit of new music, too, so that's always exciting. I got to say, I mean, I'm looking at this list of things, uh, kind of back-to-back nominations and awards for things like the Josie Music Awards, which I'm well aware of, Male Artist of the Year for uh, Modern Country, Male Vocalist of the Year, again, for the Josie Music Awards, just all kinds of things you got going on there for some of your songs specifically as well. Just craziness. But you know what? I think maybe I've jumped the gun a little bit. Why don't we back up for those who might have missed the first interview with you, Chris, and give us a little background because you have a really nice background of kind of how this all got started for you. So why don't you go ahead and and, uh, jump back a little bit in time and tell us the story of how Chris, Chris Steven got to be where he's at today, which is a very busy guy. Well, I mean, I started music really young and, uh, I've been doing it my whole life. Went to school for music. I guess I got into guitar in elementary school and then really started picking it up as one of my main instruments in high school. And it's just grown and grown to where today guitar is what I play the most. Uh, playing and singing is my primary involvement in music. And I started singing country in high school, just doing covers, playing at, you know, uh, open mic nights here and there. And that just grew to me writing my own music, starting recording uh, and things like that. Right led to me getting bigger gigs, being uh, getting to travel with it and being headliners at, at a couple events. And it's it's just been a lot of fun for me. And I'm, I'm just excited to see where it, where it takes me after this. You're actually multi-instrumentalist, though. You've played a few different things in, in your past. Um, are you still playing right. more than guitar? Or have you just kind of focused on that? I still have several instruments I play, but guitar is my focus. Okay. Because I know there was something I read. Was it trombone or trumpet or something? You played in the band when trombone. you were trombone. Oh yeah, woohoo! Yeah, trombone is what I played. Uh, it's what I went to school for. Played in the Pride of the Southland Marching Band at the University of Tennessee for three years. So that was a lot of fun. Got to travel all over the southeast, all over the country, really. Do you still pick it up every once in a while? Every once in a while, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It's hard to put something something down that you played for that long. Yeah, no doubt. But, uh, so I still play it every now and then, but. Playing guitar and singing is definitely my focus now. Right, right, right. Um, and, you know, I, I have to just kind of give people a little bit of background here. When people are talking about your voice, I mean, obviously you have that kind of deep voice. You've got a big voice. People are saying that in comparison to, and there's some big names on this list here, Chris, including like Chris Young, Josh Turner, Z- Zach Brown, that, you know, and then kind of your, your spin on the music that you're doing, but... That's uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty interesting that you know people are kind of doing those kind of comparisons with you. Yeah, it's uh, always exciting to hear people compare me to the the people I've been listening to for years and the people I look up to. And, and some of them are big influences for you as well. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Now, Chris, uh, since you've been on the show last, you have released, or somewhere around in that time frame, you released a self-titled EP. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Because I know that's uh, some of the music we're going to be listening to today is off of that. So that EP, that was my first EP, the first music I recorded. Some of it was original, some of it was given to me by other songwriters in Nashville. And that was my first real experience being in a studio and uh, just getting to play with that caliber of musicians that's out there in Nashville and getting to record music that's my own and just see how people react to it. You know, it's, it's, stuff, it's not just covers from me that they're sharing on Facebook, but, you know, something they've never heard before except from me. And it's, uh, it was a really neat process. It's really been neat to see how everything grows. The EP's done great. People love it. I mean, it's gotten, I've been nominated, which I'm for several awards for it, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, and people have been asking me when I'm recording more stuff. So I, I got back to it. And then we've actually got the new single that just released yesterday called Home. So 
that was really fun to be able to get back in the studio and uh, release more music to the people that I'm asking for. Well, that I mean, that's exciting. And we're going to play that song. And if people haven't heard it yet, it's almost like I get an exclusive play before it was released. But we're going to throw that one out there, too. Now, this whole EP was released in April of 2017. Uh, so it's been out there, but this music is really starting to uh, pick up pace for you out on your shows. You're doing a lot of this stuff on the shows? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially when I go on the road and I'm around not just local crowds, but people that have not heard my music before. I always try to throw in stuff, for, a lot of stuff from my EP and get them to hear my music. So hopefully they'll go download it and tell other people about it, share it. That's what helps me out. Well, you know, and we're internet too, so we're helping to get that music out there, but you've also been doing a lot yeah. of radio work with a bunch of different stations, including a lot of internet stations, uh, including Sirius Radio. I mean, they've given you some airplay and stuff, so that's got to be pretty rewarding. And also kind of like a little, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like a pat on the back to know that you're heading in the right direction. I mean, if these people are picking up your music, yeah. you know, that's got to say to you, you're you're doing something right. Yeah, it's always rewarding when uh when stations want to play my music and and it it's great to get that pat on the back that they like it enough that they want to play it and it's also very helpful for me especially you know these internet radio stations like you got. So this is brand new. Okay. Uh, this came out and uh, we're really excited to see how this one does. Now, is this a penned song of yours, Chris? What was that? It, did you write the song? I did. Yeah. Okay. And you want to give us a little background of what the song's all about? Uh, the song is about. Trying to realize what you have before it's gone, I guess, is a good summary of the song without giving too much away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have folks listen to that in in just a minute. So we're excited to help you get this new single out. Is this um, planned to be on an upcoming EP? Maybe. Yes, this will be on. I'm planning on putting this on the next EP, which I'm currently still writing for. Uh, writing plenty of songs, just trying to figure out which ones we want on it. Okay. And then we'll get to work on recording. Oh, well, this is this is like brand spanking new. Like it, it's not even really out of the package right. yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's awesome. Well, listen, if you can hang on there for just a minute, Chris, what I would like to do is we're going to have to take a quick break and then we're going to come back with that new single, Home. So if it was released yesterday, that means that people can get their hands on it now? Right. They can find it on Spotify iTunes, Apple Music, and you those venues. All right, and they're they're looking for this as a single and all the electronic platforms. So uh, if you guys like this song, when we come back, we're going to play that song. And uh, you want to start looking for it and getting it downloaded to your phones and all that electronic stuff. I'm a little behind the times when it comes to that kind of stuff, but... <laughs> Let's get that song out there. Chris, if you can hang on for just a few minutes, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back with that new single of yours, Home, in just a minute. Can you hang on? Yep, sounds good. All right, we'll be back uh, with more Chris Steven right here on Penn's Peak Radio. We're going to talk about some of the other great music he has out there on his EP, about a special give back kind of thing that Chris is involved with, and connectivity, all in just a minute, right here on the Wall to Wall Country Show. Exciting stuff there. What a great song. Chris Steven, his new tune. This is uh, out there on all the electronic medias if you want to get your hands on it. His brand new single, Home. You guys can be looking for that. Released just as of yesterday, October 16th. And um, just just so exciting. Uh, it's It's got to be pretty cool now that you're kind of getting into that swing of things where you're putting music out and you're getting the, the reaction, uh, a little bit more of an immediate reaction, uh, maybe then your first EP. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, my first EP, I had to really push it hard just to get people to listen to it, um, really spread the word. But now that, you know, my, my EP has gained me some fans and, and there's people are, that were already waiting to hear this album or to hear this EP, this single, excuse me. So as soon as it came out, I had people listening to it, giving me feedback on it. And that was, that was really rewarding. And that's awesome. And uh, I, I got to say, I mean, I think that's, you've got the sound, you've got the the pipes obviously you're getting out and doing some good work out there to get the your music out there and you know the thing is is years ago uh it was even harder but now with everybody having the electronic platforms to be able to get it you know somebody heard that song just a few minutes ago and maybe it already got downloaded a couple more times for you you know what right. i mean it's pretty in, it's pretty immediate anymore yeah Speaking of connectivity, if people do want to uh, reach out to you and and comment about your music or find out more about you or check out where you're going to be, what you're up to, what's some of the best ways to connect with you, Chris? You can connect with me on our website, which is 
chrisstephencountry.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at chrisstephen underscore music. And that's Stephen with a P-H. That's, that gets uh, commonly confused, but it's S-T-E-P-H-E-N. So you can find me on any of those platforms, and uh, that's that's probably the best place to connect with me. Awesome. That's pretty cool. And are you the person who, you know, pretty much does the answering, or do you got a team that helps you with that? How how are you uh, handling, you know, all, all of this uh, interaction that's going on with all the social medias? Because I know that can be in a job in itself. I'm usually the one that responds to it. If it's on, depending on what platform it is, sometimes my manager uh, is kind of a go-between that I... I, I always have a hand in the response at the very least, but usually it's me. Great. Well, that's good to know. And, uh, you know, I think that's just one of those things that I think people really should kind of, um, kind of at least try to keep in involved with that a little bit. I mean, it's definitely yeah. one of those things that that's what your that's what your your fans want to know. That's what your fans want to, you know, want to, want to be able to reach out to you and they know you're available. The availability is there. It's just, don't ever lose no. that connection with your fans, you know? No, I, I try to keep it like that. You know, if my fans want to talk to me, I want them to, want them to be able to get to me. Awesome. That's, that's really cool. So speaking of your website here, Chris, I've noticed something on there, and I think it would be advantageous for us to talk about a little bit, especially in today's society as it is. Lots of pressure okay. on people. In general, you talk about bullying in schools and how kids kind of have a hard time dealing with it sometimes, and you hear about this horrible thing that's going on across the country anymore, how suicide rates are up, depending on the pressure of whatever's going on out there. You actually are an ambassador for an organization that is also affected. And, and I think people forget about this part of our, this part of our human race, that these people also could possibly need some help. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Mission 22? So Mission 22 is a uh, is an organization that I'm a brand ambassador for, and their goal is to uh, spread light to uh, or bring awareness to veteran suicide and also try to put a stop to it and slow the numbers down. And the name Mission 22 comes from the fact that an average of 22 veterans a day commit suicide. So Mission 22 sells all kinds of cool products. They sell awesome hats, jackets, pretty much anything you can think of. I love their stuff. It's a nice product. It's got cool designs. But the the big thing is that the proceeds from that go to help in any way they can to prevent veteran suicide. That's you know a really important thing to me. A lot of because you know people served our country. I can only do what I do because of them. And a lot a lot of them feel like they don't have anywhere to go. You know they have this mentality of I've got to be the big strong person. And but they if they have issues they need to be able to to get those sorted out. So. It's it's something I feel very strongly about, and I think Mission 22 is just a great program. You guys should definitely go check them out, see if you like their stuff. And, I mean, heck, if you need a jacket or a hat or something, why not buy from them, get a little money headed towards a good cause at the same time, and uh, just help out the people that helps you out, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a staggering number if you think about it. You know, twenty uh, in the 20s, uh, every single day. I mean, and that's... Yeah. That's pretty disturbing. I mean, uh, suicide in itself is so un not understood to, to believe that somebody is in that place to just feel like they're just not worth walking on this planet with everybody else in itself is just a staggering kind of thought to me. Um, and, and, yeah. I, and, I, and it's one of those things that I think a lot of people get affected by. I know personally I had a friend uh, who did that when I was in college and you know, to this day, I still can't, I don't understand. I can't wrap my brain around it. But to be able to reach out to these people, and like you said, you know, they're human too, and they have feelings too, and, and they get upset, and they have challenges and, and things that they got to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's nice if you have the opportunity to let them know that they're not alone, there, it, there is help out there, and, and that they're, right. they're worth it. You know, they're really, really worth it. Mm-hmm, yeah. So uh, the the website for you folks, if you're interested in checking it out, is uh, just mission22.com. That's M-I-S-S-I-O-N. And then the letter 2 and 2 dot com. Uh, there you can see, uh, I mean, I like the way they say on here, United We Heal. And that's simple right. words, but very powerful words in themselves that, you know, it does take people put together on a cause to, to heal something. And if you can really at least reach a couple of people out there and, 
and bring that number down. Uh, that's an, a pretty amazing cause. So thank you for supporting such a such an amazing cause, Chris. Oh, it's the least I can do, really. And I and I see that you you help out with a few other things. Uh, Marines helping Marines. Uh, you help out with the Toys right. for Tots stuff. Camp Yoga in South America. What's that about? Uh, that's a friend of mine from a summer camp here in Tennessee who moved to or who is from South Africa and went back home and started his own camp there. So it's a Christian summer camp in Cape Town, South Africa. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, That's pretty cool, too. So you got a lot of really cool stuff going on on your website there, uh, Chris. So um, including your music and and ways that people can reach out to you and things like that. I don't want to keep you too much longer, but let's chat. Let's circle back around to some of the music. A few other tunes I wanted to feature as I mentioned, we already played Home, which is a single out right now, planning on being on a, an EP. You want to keep an eye on Chris's website for that. And then you've got a couple other tunes out there. Uh, another one, More Than I Deserve, another great song. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that tune? So More Than I Deserve is one off my first EP, and that is probably the crowd favorite. You know, every, Of course, there's other people that have their different favorite songs, but that's probably the one I get the most that people that's their favorite song on the EP. That's my favorite song on the EP personally. And uh, I just think, I think it's one that really anybody can connect to. Is this uh, one of uh, yours again, or is this one that was, uh, you, you embraced because you enjoyed it so much? This is one that I wrote personally before the EP was ever recorded. So Okay. All right. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the, the chat between you and me with, with that one. For sure. And then we were talking about another little tune that I, I wanted to play at the end of the show. And uh, it's an, it, now that one and this one are both off the EP, right? Correct. Okay. And um, this other uh, a tune that we were talking about was Never Seen Nothing Like You. Again, the same kinds of questions. Why, why pick this song? Was it something you penned? How did it reach out to you and touch you that you decided to put it on that six song EP? This was a song that was written by another writer, and it was offered up to me to put on my EP. And I really liked the song, uh, really connected with it. I thought it was just a really sweet song. So I decided that was one I'd like to add to the EP. You know, and you're putting your own spin on these songs and, and, and making them your own, which is always nice, too. And I'm sure they, they appreciate it. Six songs right. on the first EP, correct? Correct. Okay, and that's a self-titled, so they can look for that. What uh, what do you got coming up? Tell us a little bit about some of the things you got on the docket, Chris, for the rest of 2018 or, or maybe early 2019. What can be people looking for? Uh, well, this weekend I have a show coming up in Virginia. It's the, uh, they call it uh, Apple Butter, and it's at a family friend farm in Virginia. It's a pretty big thing. They have a lot of people come out there, and uh, then next week, I'm playing Whiskey Jam in Nashville on Thursday. Wow. So that's exciting to be invited to, the, to that event. That following weekend, I'm finishing up filming on the music video for this song, Home, which will be coming out soon. Great. And I have, uh, have a few other shows coming up, trying to book some things in early 2019 uh, traveling. So there's all kinds of places we're trying to go to next year. So if you're not from around East Tennessee, where I play a lot of local gigs, and you want to come see me, just check the website. Hopefully we'll be coming somewhere near you soon. Okay. All right. Are you planning on heading uh, more (laughs) up northeast by any chance? Hopefully we'll get a show or two up further northeast. Uh, We'll probably be trying to get a few further into the southeast as well, Uh, maybe even one a little bit further out west. Okay. Trying to get get spread out and get get a wider audience. All right. Well, you know, and I mentioned this to you the last time you were on the aircraft. You're ever in the... Pennsylvania, northeast side here. Give us a holler. We'd love to have you of in course. on the on the studios. I just want to double back on one little thing, though. You said that the video for this, is this your first official video uh, for the song Home? Yeah, this is my first music video, and it is for the song Home. Uh, we've been filming on it for a few weeks now, and we're going to be finished up the filming next weekend, and then we'll just have editing to do, and it should be releasing pretty soon. Wow. So that's exciting. Yeah, people can be looking for that. Are you going to be putting it out on your social medias and places? Of course, we'll be blasting that. Okay, blasting it out there so people can be looking forward to that. Well, it sounds like you have a a very busy plan going on, Chris. Uh, I appreciate you taking time again out of your busy schedule. Obviously, you're (laughs) you're a busy guy. 
But we're uh, congr- uh, always a pleasure. Congratulations on the fact that um, you do have this new single out as of a day, and I'm sure it's going to do really, really well for you. Looking forward for another new EP out there. And again, if you have some new and exciting news and you'd like to uh, let us know about it, feel free to get back in touch with us. But we're going to um, close it out with uh, More Than I Deserve. And then at the end of the show, remind everybody, remember this whole thing gets recorded and we play it back on a uh, on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, we'll play a song to remind them to listen in on Sunday. So uh, you'll probably get tagged on that and spread the word. And then, of course, the whole interview gets put up on our on our YouTube channel uh, page that if you want to have people listen to the interview, they can catch it there as well. Awesome. We'll definitely share that. All right, Chris. Anything else you want to throw out there to uh, your friends and fans out there? I just want to thank everybody for giving me the love and support they have so far. I hope they continue. I hope they keep liking the music. That's why I do it. Awesome. Well, congratulations again on all of your accomplishments so far. Good luck with everything else you have coming up on the docket. And hopefully we get a chance to talk to you again, Chris. You're always welcome back on the show. Well, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Thanks, Chris. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.